<laughs> Hashtag the castle show right here on Live 1015. Now, a special guest in studio right now. He goes by the name of Gashi. Yeah. Welcome to Arizona. Thank you so much for having me. It's getting hot. It's not too bad right now. It's nice. This is we're on a nice, nice, it's, you know, it's LA a lot vibe right now. Than LA. No. LA's freezing. You know what's funny is looking back at like some summer like IG posts and people that live in LA, they're freaking out about certain heat waves, and we're like, yeah, whatever. That's dude. light. It's You're light. Like, that's light. That's light work. Yo, yeah. the record. My year is fire. Uh, Thank way to you put so things much. out in the universe. <laughs> Yo, it's it's really crazy. Like I, I said it and everything's been falling into place. Like I just did a Nike commercial and my album's about a rapper who gets stuck in a time machine and is forced to make eighties music. And in the Nike commercial, it's shot in the eighties. That's fun. So like everything I've been saying has been coming to life in a weird way. So I need to just be careful what I say. Right. Wish, uh, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Uh, in many ways, do you believe like, you know, putting stuff out in the universe, like you have to talk about it, tweet about it in order for it to come true? Don't tweet about it. Don't tweet about it. <laughs> nah, man, don't let nobody, because a lot of people be hating, you know what I mean? I just feel like a lot of people don't want to see you succeed. So just keep it to yourself. I feel like you shouldn't talk about it until it happens. Let's take it back to 2015. There's a very special interview with DJ Snake. He's uh, on Hot 97, yeah. and he mentions your name as one of the people to watch. Yo, yeah, he did. What was, did that change anything for you then? I mean, <clears throat> my city be hating, you know, so that was awesome. Because, like, you know. It and just, someone as global as DJ Snake. Yeah, I mean, they asked him who he's like. They're like, "Oh, DJ Snake, like you, one of one of the people that knows like what what hits are. You have an ear for who's next." And he's like, "Yeah, guys, she's next." Like, he did a song on my album with Travis Scott and Quavo. Like, he's next. Boom, boom. And I still didn't get the interview at High ninety seven after that, which was surprising. Mm -hmm. Like, I had like I had to wait so long to do that. You know what I mean? I just did that like last the last month or some shit. But besides that, um, yeah, he found me on SoundCloud. It changed a lot for me because his album, I was the only independent artist on his album who, um, uh, I was the only independent artist on his album who had two songs on there. Bieber was on it, Skrillex was on it, so many, so many people were on it. And I, it just felt super, uh, it felt super, I was super grateful and humbled to be on, on that project and have somebody like DJ Snake who's really made, he changed music, the sound of music mm -hmm. forever. You know, when Lean On came out, everybody tried to copy it. So the fact that he he thinks like, I'm going to change music, uh, you know, it's a lot of pressure. And But you guys are actually like pals, pals now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's become my best friend. Yeah, yeah. you guys, uh, I saw your disrespectful video. He's in it. Yeah. Uh, and you just yeah. tweeted about how disrespectful changed your life in a lot of ways. Uh, yeah. Gotta talk tell about it. the first 24 hours after you dropped that song. I mean, you know, I had, a, I had, a, I had gotten in trouble and I kind of laid low a little bit and my career kind of got dry. And uh, I went to L.A. and... I recorded this song real quick, and then once um, everything started getting better with my situation, I flew back to New York, and I played it for my mother. And when I played the record for my mother and sister, I was eating ice cream. I had an ice cream cone in my hand. I played the record, my sister and mother recorded me dancing, and then I uploaded it on Instagram. And um, the the video hit, like, 500,000 views. I've never gotten that before. Mm -hmm. I got, like... 3,000 comments. Like, it took off. Like, everybody was, like, wondering, like, who this kid was. And mm -hmm. everyone was commenting on how, like, the ice cream was not dripping, even though I was dancing, you mm -hmm. know. And it kind of went viral. And then from there, um, the record took off when I dropped it. As soon as I dropped it, the record took off and uh, ended up on Spotify, Rap Caviar, and I ended up signing. On its own. Yeah, on its own. Ended up. I ended up, I ended up signing with um, Rock Nation. And um, after Rock Nation, I ended up um, signing with RTA Records. But the thing is, like, I've had so many things happen before that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. I, I followed you years back, and it was mostly watching, I think it was Just Incredible's snaps or something like yeah. that. And you were just having fun in studio. And just your vibe alone. It's it's funny to have you here, and you're super chill. And I see you, like, just hopping around. You, you're ready to turn it up at any instant. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, like I just feel like 
I woke first of all. I woke up at five a.m. to get here. I understand uh, that. I'm super tired and drained. I haven't ate yet, and I got a lot on my mind right now. The mm-hmm. fact that like, um, I just got a text from my friend who has family in New Zealand, and she's kind of going through it right now, mm-hmm. and it kind of puts um, things in a different perspective. Yeah, like I'm blessed. I'm here. Everything is amazing. We're, your hair is amazing. You look amazing. You're Thank happy. You. I'm Thank happy. But there's people on the other side of the world right now going through it. Mm-hmm. And it kind of affects me somehow. It's not going to ruin my day. You know what I mean? Because life yeah. goes on. But at the same time, my thoughts are elsewhere right now. You know, I'm not selfish with my time. No, no, no. I understand that. Does it make you want to, <laughs> I guess, work your platform in a different way as it grows? Yeah, I just feel like I want to I want to say something about it. And you know what I'm saying? And do something about it. Like, I wouldn't be where I am right now if it was if my mother's prayers. Like the fact that my mom prays for me is is the reason why I'm successful, mm-hmm. you know. And and you know, my mother could have been praying, and somebody could have went and then shot it up. We've seen it in many, we've seen it so many times. It's be, what's scaring me is the fact that it's becoming a norm. Mm-hmm. That we're desensitized. We're being desensitized, and I don't I, I don't really like that. So I, I apologize if my energy is not all the way. Oh up. no, you're good. I didn't mean it like in the yeah. sense like. Ooh, Where's Gashi at? I need that. No, I get it. I'm saying you're you're able to switch it up. It's still my year. It's not going to change, you know? Mm -hmm. I just feel like I just had to talk about that because I just feel like, you know, it's not right for me not to say anything. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Any industry pressures that you fight? Um, There's no pressure of anything. I feel like I've been in it for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, like I've wrote for some of the biggest artists in the industry. I've been around the biggest, you know what I'm saying? And I've seen that I could do stuff they can't. Mm -hmm. So I have no pressure. There's nothing for me to really prove Mm -hmm. um, to anyone. I'm super confident and uh, I'm humble as well. But Like my dad told me the other day, like you keep like getting excited when you hear yourself on the radio. You keep posting about it. Like, why do you do that? And I said, because that it's like, it's an amazing feeling. I feel Mm -hmm. like I'm like losing my virginity every time it happens. Like it's my first kiss. Like I won something, like something amazing happened. And he was just like, but you're acting surprised as if people are doing you a favor by playing your record. Like it's not that hot. Like, like you haven't worked this hard to be there. Mm -hmm. So so um, one thing that I'm working on is is kind of like accepting the fact that the music is, sorry if I'm cursing, the music is dope. Like stop acting like. Those are two hard perspectives to like fight. Like there's the people that tell you like, oh, you're the shit. You're going to make this happen. And there's yeah. like the people like, oh, keep it down here. It's like, which one do I, well, yeah. which one should I be? Well, you got to balance it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like I, what I want to do this year is let people know it's my year and it's nobody else's year. And, and and be confident about it and at the same time share my year with other people. Mm-hmm. So that's what I want to do is kind of like celebrate my life, my, my, my success. Because you also need to understand like um, my life's changed in the past two years a lot, mm-hmm. you know. And, you know, I feed my family with my music, my art. So it means a lot to me, you know, even if I'm not feeling like doing the doing a run today and I'm feeling like doing a show today I still have to it's do it it's part of the job yeah it's part of the job I still have to do it because I feed my family through it and mm-hmm. what makes my career so dope is the fact that my parents uh, who were who came to this country with nothing and well, that was going to be my next question. What is their yeah. reaction to all this? <clears throat> They're super, super proud of me. You know what I mean? I, I've I had my dad drop me off, my mother at the airport. Usually, the usually I have a car, I have a driver, and my dad's like, "No, no, I'll drive you." It's the weekend, so he drove me to the airport, and he said to me, "He goes, I'm, I just want to let you know, I'm so proud of you. Like, he, like you, you didn't have anyone, like you, you know, like both, like my dad is a janitor." Mm-hmm. My mother is a nurse assistant. Like, they work hard. Yeah, we don't come for money. So the fact that like I have a house, the fact that I have a car, the fact that I did all this my, by myself, it's just insane. It's not. It's not. It's nothing. It's really crazy. Like I didn't give up. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's the good. S- smartest thing I've ever done is not give up. You know, keep I kept going. going. Yeah. So, but um, well, my parent. The thing that that makes everything every day happy is the fact that I'm giving people um. Um, something to look forward to so they wake up every day and they're like let me go check on his gram what did he post let me go see like how I was just checking up on you yeah like that (laughs) where is this man at yeah